Hello, people. My name is Si Tang. Hi, I'm Li Hen. And um, for our microcontroller final project, we make a beautiful interactive waterfall. Ta da! This. And um, let me begin by talking a little bit about our mechanical design of the waterfall. Mm -hmm. So um, as you can see, we bought some PVC pipe from Home Depot. These are one feet pipe. It's a very modular design. It's like you connect two PVC pipe with a pipe connector to create a two feet height. And on top of the um, PVC pipe, there's a foam, piece of foam, which create a support structure for the laser cutted parts for the solenoid valves. It kind of serves as a holder for the solenoid valves. We have 12 solenoid valves, which is connected to the water tank on top, just getting the water from it. Basically, the solenoid valves serve, serve as a water switch and naturally is in its off position, so water will just flow straight through. And now they are all on, so water stops floating. All right, so now let me talk about the app part. So after the app is turned on, it takes five seconds for the computer to establish a Bluetooth connection with the HC06 Bluetooth module in the PIC32. So there's a Bluetooth module over right here. here. Yes. And, right. and, the, and the rest of that board is, are the motor drivers, are the solenoid drivers, right? Yes. The transistors, solenoid, diode production circuits, so all connect to the signal line to mm -hmm. the PIC32 GPIO. Okay. Yes. All right, so the entire application is divided into three different modes. The first one is the play mode, where the user can directly control each one of the 12 valves on the solenoids. So if I press this, then this will turn on. Is the resolution high enough to see? That's good. I was getting the angle correct so so that the light reflects off of yes. the water well. And I can see that they see the, the water move back and forth as you move your finger. Okay. Nice. Okay. So this is the plate mold. All right, so now let's enter the second mode, which is the program mode. So in this mode, the user is able to customize the patterns that they want to display, for example, like this. Yeah, oh, this, like a preview patterns. And yeah. Okay, so send that. Did I click send? Oh, oh, oh. Something wrong. It's not sending. Oops. What should we do? Oh, the, the Bluetooth. The Bluetooth. Should we redo it? Are you back? I am. We are back, but um. But when I was trying to remove the micro stick, it resets the um, microcontroller. All right, so now we're. So send the pattern. Send the pattern. Send. So that's the pattern. So we can see it hopping back and forth. Yes. Let's draw. Okay, so draw the draw the the one that's diagonal. Diagonal. Okay. Yeah, that one. So this. Oh, I think you lose connection again. So it's it, yeah, back with the third one. That's a pen. Okay. And send. I know. I'm trying to see if there's like No, no, it's correct because the waveform ends in the middle and it is ending in the middle and it goes to zero. So now I can see the, the water increase across, yes. Okay. And now show me the third mode. The third mode, which is our enjoy mode. Yes. And we have a one minute waterfall show. And it starts right now. Alright, so it it's it's sequencing through all the valves now. Yes. That's the first show. Okay. Sequencing back. And now now it's two and now it's filling in. Yes. Okay. And your vertical resolution is set by gravity, so you yes. you and and the and the resolution of the three bit, um, because um, the height is fifty centimeters. It takes about three hundred milliseconds of free fall using the physics uh, physics equation to compute it. Then um, it takes a hundred milliseconds to turn on and off the solenoid valve. So we have three bits vertical resolution basically. Now you can hear the. And we turn on the light show as well as the... Yes. 
Like you can hear the solenoids banging away yeah, now. Which is very yeah. fun sound as well. Dun -dun. That's the end. Okay, thank you. Very impressive.